What is going on everyone? Welcome to the channel. My name is Jacob Scott. Thank you so much for watching. I gotta say, I don't think I was gonna be saying this for a long, long time, but I switched to Sony. Let's talk about it. All right, so the question is, why did I leave Canon for Sony, which I'm actually shooting, shooting this whole video on the Sony a7 III. Now it all started back when I wanted a full frame camera and being a Canon shooter, I naturally started looking at the Canon 6D Mark II because the 5D Mark IV was just gonna be way too much. And of course the 1DX Mark II was, that was just gone, way too much for me. So the 6D Mark II was pretty much the only full frame in my price range. Now I started looking at it and I, I wasn't all that impressed with it. Like the dynamic range wasn't that great. The low light wasn't that great. It didn't shoot 4K, which to me, 4K is definitely not a necessity. That's something I didn't need. But when I was spending that that money, like it would it would be something nice to have with how much money I was gonna be spending on this camera. And for it being 2018 and it didn't have 4K, it's like, why? Now, if Canon would've put 4K in that camera, I think that camera would've done a lot better. But then I realized that all my lenses were APS-C Canon lenses. So they wouldn't work on a 6D Mark II. So I realized I can get a completely new system. I can start looking at different brands if I want. So then I came across the Sony a7 III and I honestly, I didn't realize the hype that this camera had beforehand, before looking at um, moving into a full frame camera. Then I just saw it did dynamic range so much better than the 6D Mark II. The low light performance was so much better than the 6D Mark II. It had 4K, it had 120, 1080, in body image stabilization, 10 frames per second, uh, pictures, and it just started to blow the 6D Mark II away. Pretty much the only thing that it did not have was a flip out screen. And it had most everything more than the Canon, but that was the only thing that the Canon had that the Sony didn't. So I decided, you know, I can't justify getting Canon just because I like Canon, because it says Canon. Because this camera does it way better, and it's pretty much the same price. After getting a lens, it's pretty much the same price. So that is why I chose to go to Sony. So I really do hope in the future, and I think Canon just announced that they don't plan to be at the bottom of the spec list anymore, which is a good thing, because I definitely don't want to see them die out. But for now, I'm going to be shooting Sony because it's just the best tool for the job. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And very soon, I will be having a bunch of videos on the Sony a7 III, which this whole video was shot on. And you might notice that this video is also in 4K. So this is, I don't know if I'm going to be planning to shoot in 4K all the time just because it's not very friendly with my computer. But thought you might enjoy a video or two in 4K. So like I said, we're gonna have some reviews coming up soon. So be sure to stick around, hit that subscribe button. I will see you.